Hey, yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's Comfy Neat here. And for today's topic, I wanted to talk about, um, I guess, something that's probably more specific to me, uh, I guess, than most of my topics are. But um, I wanted to talk about what it's like being a failure to your own race, I guess. And, well, I guess that's kind of, kind of, like relatable to a lot of people but i'm gonna be talking specifically about um things that are like pretty um i guess you need to like asian culture if that makes sense although there are a lot of cultures that are pretty similar and a lot of cultures that um are basically like asian culture as far as like what priorities um they give the different people like the expectations that um different people hold for each other in um, I guess those respective societies and obviously things differ from country to country like even countries that are kind of similar like um, like uh, I guess like Japan Korea like China all the East Asian countries um, you know they have their differences but I feel like they're largely similar in terms of what they expect from people but anyways um, as far as just like Asian east asian culture specifically i can't really speak for like southeast asian or like south asian central asian west asian but um yeah like um for east asian culture uh which is where i guess i would belong to um pretty sure most people have noticed this by now but there's really a huge um emphasis on um i guess basically becoming a wagey and not just any wagey but like a white collar wagey because if um i guess if you become anything i guess if you uh, undertake any job that isn't considered white collar well you know maybe apart from like entertainment um but yeah like if you don't basically if, if you work like a blue collar job like for example do something in the trades which is, I feel, pretty respectable, and you can make a decent amount of money, like, I don't know, I guess construction, I've heard, pays well, and, um, but especially if you do something like, I don't know, work retail, or work at Walmart, or basically don't do anything that's, like, in an office, or that doesn't eventually pay six figures, then... Um, well, you're basically pretty much looked down on as like trash and I guess You're probably wondering why I'm mentioning work since I am a neat and Have pretty much not worked in my life and well, that's more so because I feel like Those are probably the only opportunities that are available to me as of now and let's say I were to become a wagey pretty much any job that I, that I'd be able to get would um, still, uh, you know, have me looked down upon by my fellow Asians, especially those that, um, I guess, grew up in Asia, because I feel like maybe if you're, like, I guess, born here, I feel like you kind of adopt, like, the cultural expectations, and over here in, like, the West, it's actually okay. I mean, obviously, it's better if you are a white collar but i feel like it's not looked down upon as much as in asia and um so there's that and um furthermore um the reason i feel like i'm a failure to my own race is because i feel like being neat is the complete opposite of what's expected um, of you and um i guess asian culture that's fucking cold but um, yeah, you're kind of um, expected because yeah, you kind of expect to be like a white collar worker and basically work long hours, not just work that nine to five, but work like overtime too, just to basically um, do anything for the sake of, uh, I guess, getting paid more. Um, and it's, I know that it's kind of a meme where like in the West, you know, like, 
you've got wives like complaining that oh like honey you're not you're not home enough i i um i i don't feel like you're here enough for me blah 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 what about the kids blah 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 blah, blah. um um what else uh kind of know what i mean but like that's kind of like a i guess thing here in the west where like i guess spouses like want their husbands like in the house some of the time which i think makes sense but in asia it's like just to drive the point home of how like work centered the like i guess like culture is um like they really don't give a shit like honestly like i feel like wives would rather have their husbands in the office um like basically like working wage slaving away um if it means that the family will have more income and um yeah i'm literally the opposite of that so first of all i'm pretty sure that there's no chance that i'll ever be able to <laughs> to date an asian girl just by the fact alone that i meet even if i were to like fix my social skills and you know i don't know somehow manage to lo look like a complete mom or um, grew myself properly, dress properly. Well, I'm pretty sure that no, um, pretty much no, obviously there are exceptions to the rule, but pretty much no Asian girl would ever even look at me. And it's not just that, um, I'm pretty sure if my former friends or not quote unquote friends, like acquaintances found out that I was neat, um, well, I would, pretty much be the laughing stock of like my entire at least like high school um like i guess high school class if not more and you know it's pretty common in asian culture or like socially acceptable to like talk behind people's backs because i don't know maybe it's like a it's like a thing where it's like it's like such a repressed culture in a way like obviously this is more pronounced in places like japan for example i think i don't know about like other places but um yeah even like where i grew up um yeah like yeah i guess like taiwan like yeah um i i feel like here it's pretty frowned upon you know especially among guys to like say shit behind people's back like um like they're like oh if you don't say to my face and you're like a if you don't say to my face and like you're a pussy basically and um that's really not the case in asia where like people are certainly willing to like i think guys gossip just as much as girls maybe because it's a society that promotes a lot less confrontation between people for the sake of social harmony and yeah um and you know it's like you hear this shit in documentaries and you sometimes you might wonder how true is that really but i mean coming from me at least at least growing up there for like 18 years like it definitely is the case that things are like that so yeah i basically become like a laughing stock and people would talk shit about me and spread rumors and you know they wouldn't like i guess some would like say to your face and like ridicule ridicule you to your face and others would um i guess kind of just like treat you like garbage treat you like you're like less than um a human being basically like kind of look at you funny and um yeah, this is, uh, for example, like, even if I were to fix all my social skills and stuff, like, that would be, like, the general sort of treatment you would get over there. And, um, yeah, it really makes it, I guess, because it really makes it even harder for me at this point, because I already don't want to, like, talk to my, like, former acquaintances, even the ones that were not that, like, bad to me or, like, okay to me, just because... I'm afraid of, um, you know, of the mask and things like, so what are you doing right now? Like, wh what are you, like, what's your job or like shit like that? Um, it's just, um, yeah, hard to talk about that stuff because it's like, 
it's so exhausting having to lie all the time to, um, I guess, people that you've formerly, know, formerly known. And I guess they're kind of expecting you to fit a certain mold as far as, as, far as like Asians go. And I mean, um, yeah, I guess that peer pressure, I don't know, might be good in a way because it makes people white collar workers. Although on the flip side, when you're like me, then, well, you're basically effed and uh, yeah, people no longer see you as, um, I guess, as worthy of the Asian, like, I don't know, race or whatever. Like, it's like, you're basically like disowned like collectively, like obviously not on like a conscious level, but like just like in practice, like they just completely like don't associate with you anymore. And um, well, obviously this doesn't feel nice because as far as, uh, you know, as far as uh, people say that, oh, like we're all just human beings. I mean, yeah, that's, that's true. And we all have like the same, like, mostly have like the same needs and like um, wants in life and um, I guess drives or whatever, but um, they're all, I feel like, I don't know, for me at least, there's like some sort of like special connection that you'll always have with like your race. Some races have it more than others, but I feel like, um, I don't know, it's like the sort of like tribalism within all of us that, um, that we, I guess, long to associate with our own kind. So it kind of hurts not being able to do that because you know that, um, well, people will just automatically like not give you the benefit of the doubt, look at you funny, um, kind of like mistreat you in overt or like passive aggressive ways just because you don't have a job. And um, it's also, um, yeah, for some reason, I guess I also feel really insecure around other people of the same race because I don't know, that sort of mentality is like burned into my brain where I just can't help feeling inferior to other Asian people. And um, yeah, it kind of sucks. And um, as far as other things that I don't live up to, I guess, um, I don't know. Um, yeah, um, it's like, I can't really think of anything else right now, but I feel like that pretty much is mostly what I have to say. I guess, you know, I fucking am terrible at math. Um, so that's one more, that's one more mold that I don't fit. And I have like no business sense and things like that. And, um, yeah, uh, I guess that's all I have to say for now. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to hit the like and subscribe. Fuck, the like and subscribe button down below if you enjoy this uh, quality content. Um, yeah, and about my new series, I might maybe do like um, a video for that. Like every other, every like I guess like two of these like ranting about life videos and then one of those like self boot videos just because it's kind of a pain in the ass to uh do all the um i don't know cutting out all the dead silence so um yeah and i kind of want this sort of like series where i'm ranting about life to um basically be sort of like i don't know like long form or not have any jump cuts or as little as little as possible so um yeah anyways um that's all i have to say so this is company signing out.